Hi, my name is Juan Dile Mkumbuzi. Today I'm going to talk about a practical investigation on a ruminant stomach dissection. A ruminant, before we go further, I have to explain a ruminant so that we are all on the same page. A ruminant can be defined as any animal that brings back food from the stomach and chews it again. Ruminant has four stomachs allowing them to chew their food several times. Ruminant stomachs has four compartments. The reticulum, the omasum, and the opamasum. Also the rumen. Method. We place the rumen stomach on a hard clean surface so that we, do, we don't expose it to any germs or a bacteria it has to be on a clean surface the material that we will use that will help us to dissect the stomach it's when we use a sharp knife a pair of scissors that will help us dissect the stomach without damaging any other compartment after after we have dissected the stomach we will have to now remove the feed content inside the rumen, the ruminant stomach. We have to use, to remove each content, the, remove the, the feed content in each stomach compartment and place it separately. Put the feed content separate and examine the feed, then we will examine the feed. That our practical investigation each student will be asked to have to name the equipment that were used in the investigation one the apparatus used to conduct the investigation were knife clean pot ph scale thermometer alimentary canal yes rumen partially digested with foreign object reticulum partially omazam digested and mixed with water opamazam well digested these are how the feet is traveled when we examine the feet on a rumen the the, the feet it is digested with foreign object on a reticulum partially the feet now is starting to be more more digested but on an omazam it's digested and mixed with water these are the different stomachs on how they fit on each stomach dif differentiate from the other stomach on an opamazam it is well digested you won't see any foreign object you won't see water or any other thing There are differences in feed content because in the rumen, the rumen, there is a bolus that is not digested since the regurgitation did not take place. Regurgitation did not take place. In the reticulum, the feed is partially digested because of the papillae and their foreign object because of the ridges in the omasum. The feed in the omasum, the feed is digested because the processes that takes takes place in the reticular rumen in the opamazam the feed was digested because of enzyme that means in the opamazam there are enzymes that helps with the digestion when now we go deeper to the rumen to the stomach rumen now we have to determine each four different stomach parts the four stomachs inside the ruminant stomach rumen is covered by a papillae most people call it a towel it has a towel structure a reticulum is covered by papillae and the ridges the honeycomb structure it has a honeycomb like structure omasum is covered in papillae and it has a leaf fold structure. Opamazam is covered with markers and there are no uh, 
have lying with those markers must bring to you that there are enzymes inside there or parmesan that help with the digestion we will also use the thermometer to read the temperature of the ruminant we'll also check the ph to check the acidic of the stomach The purpose of the hands-on practical investigation was to teach the learners to be able to dissect the rumen stomach, be able to differentiate different parts of the stomachs, how the, st the food, the feet is different on each four stomach compartment, the acidic of the stomach. Mm, that was all for the presentation for today. Thank you.